All right, guys, this is kind of tricky to record, but this is what I got. Basically, this is the live link working uh, live on my RTX 2070. And uh, it's pretty well, it's working. I'm, I mean, I'm really actually uh, astonished how well this works. Uh, there's a bit of a lag, but the lag is due that uh, this is streamed over Wi-Fi. If I would uh, connect the, the phone directly to my network, I think uh, the lag would be a much, much less evident. Yeah, I have to, can't cover up the camera. So this is the new meta rig uh, running live on the engine. Um, yeah, this is pretty amazing. Look, it works with my eyes. I can look left, look right, look up, look down. Puff my face. Right, uh, I can put my teeth out. Uh, and even stick my tongue out. So, blah, blah. Sorry for that. Uh, I apologize for that. I really do. So yeah, it works on both. Uh, this is the second model uh, that we got here. I'm sorry I'm recording this on my iPhone, but I'm also gonna uh, record the, um, uh, the live feed from my uh, screen. And this is streaming at 2K, I think. I'm getting a warning though here with my iPhone. I think it's overheating. Uh, one of the aspects here that I find is that when I uh, charge my phone and also uh, run the, the live link, uh, the phone can get hot and that's where the warning comes up. So, so you make sure, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it outside my phone, make it cold, maybe that will help. Uh, yeah, so this is, this is just unbelievable technology, to be honest. Um, I can't, wow, this is amazing. Well, anyway, uh, this is uh, lagging a bit behind, although it's not that bad. And this is, I'll show you quickly how this is connected. In case you're wondering uh, how hard it is to set this up, it's actually pretty simple. Let's jump out of the full screen. Oh my God, this hair. Woo, it's going crazy. <laughs> all right, anyway. Uh, so yeah, to set these guys up, all you need to do is to make sure that your phone is set to the correct IP, which is your computer, right? And you can set it up here in the live link setup. Just enter your IP here. Uh, of course, you can check your IP if you're not familiar with connectivity, although I would guess that if you are looking into Unreal Engine, it would be a good idea to get into it. So if you type in IP config, it's the quick start. This is my IP address. So you plop it into the live link, right? Into the app. And once that's ready, uh, you go to window. Sorry for that. Sorry for that. And live link, right? And in live link, you should see this. Uh, this should be your uh, phone, right? Tracking, and you can select it here. Once that is done, you're pretty much set. All you need to do is to select from this little menu here, you click on your uh, character, right? And just select from the menu your um, live link uh, connection. And once that is done, uh, you can go to the, uh, I loaded up the map called MH Turntable because this one has an uh, animation and I didn't want to uh, fiddle around with it too much. But this, uh, you can load up this animation and when you hit, let me just get rid of this menu. Yeah, I need to sort out the 30 FPS, but I think this is due to the phone just getting really, really hot. Yeah, because it's it's an iPhone XS. I think an iPhone 12, 11 will, will, might not get this issue. But if you're on the XS, you might you may find that cooling your phone might help. So I'm just going to run this again. So you'll see the demo. Just get this out of the way. Yeah, so it's working. Uh, you can see my face is tracked. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't work on the second character. Uh, I don't know why, though. No. 
but I'll figure it out. And once the, these animation, these two animations go by, you can you can walk around with the camera. Um, this is a bit hard to do with one hand, but you can see that the faces are tracking. They are talking at the same time, and yeah, and I can record this. And this is all being streamed live. Uh, I really like when they blink. I think it's uh, the. I think that the one I closed, one I open. Yeah, sorry for that. I'm having too much fun with this. So anyway, uh, this is the new live link and I'm going to do some more tests, show you how it works. And yeah, this is the future of creating uh, computer generated characters and uh, all that stuff that will just basically blow your mind. I'll see you in the next video and I'm gonna put these guys into motion with using motion tracking and uh, VR because you can easily get these guys moving. I'm gonna, I think I know some tricks that you can pull off to get this going. Uh, you can either use a Kinect or your VR. Also your smartphone, uh, you can do AI tracking but that's another thing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.